Hi, my name is uh, Vadim Mamontov. I am a technical lead of uh, GDS team. We do all sorts of projects. This can be a pretty complex project, this can be just a service, but within our team we have like around 10 projects and those are uh, like one of the backbone projects within the company. Well, historically we mostly were using PHP, but time passed uh, and we tried to use other languages, uh, mostly that's uh, Node.js and uh, Go as well. I cannot say for others, but uh, we use Echo framework, it's a web framework, others just uh, small packages. Yeah, yeah, we do that a lot. Uh, that's one of the reasons, basically, why we started to use Go, because it allows uh, to solve pretty complex stuff if you have to do something in parallel in a pretty easy way. Uh, mostly, I should say, it's uh, services. Usually, it's uh, something that is uh, moved away from the monolith. Usually, it's PHP monolith. But there are other projects that uh, initially started with Go. We are seeing more and more new projects uh, really kicking in in Go. Well, first of all, it's a pretty easy language to learn. It doesn't have any complexity when it comes to syntax. And also, if you're an experienced programmer, you, with your experience, you find a lot of situations where uh, solving some complex task is pretty complicated with your step. And surprisingly, especially in uh, uh, multi-threading programming, Go allows to, to do that pretty easily. <laughs> There are a lot of alternatives. Uh, basically, it all ends up what uh, task you want to solve. Of course, you can pretty much solve everything on almost any languages, but then on the other hand, it comes uh, how fast you can do that, how easy you can do that, how maintainable it will be, and uh, what uh, resources you would uh, have to use for that. I mean, people-wise. <laughs> I guess it depends on where you came from, from what uh, programming languages you are switching to go now from. Um, but uh, if you look at the language itself, I would not say there is any like uh, real limitations or problems. The ecosystem, the community is pretty big already. It's supported by Google. We even have an internal developer club here, uh, which is growing and that is good. We are experienced developers and since it's a, like a new field, we tend to create uh, stuff that other developers are already, uh, also creating. That's why we tend to create some kind of libraries, reusable libraries that others may uh, reuse as well. Don't stop exploring, continue doing. It's uh, Go is a great language. I, I think it has a potential, it has a future. <laughs>